थ्री टू वन जीरो The Chandrayaan-2 was successfully launched in July after a previous attempt was called off due to technical problems. Chandrayaan, which means mooncraft in ancient Sanskrit, spent the last few weeks traveling towards the south side of the moon. When the landing robot Vikram separates from the craft, the most exciting phase begins. India's first soft landing on the moon. The selected landing site is about 600 kilometers from the lunar south pole, a region of craters on the dark side of the moon. The blue markings here show frozen ice in craters as spotted by satellites. After landing, Vikram will open its doors and release India's first lunar rover onto the surface. Small as a briefcase, it can travel up to 500 meters. With its onboard instruments, the rover will measure water-bearing minerals in the lunar rock, as well as the concentration of elements such as aluminum, silicon, and titanium. 只差三百三十五公尺，印度想成为全球第四个上月球国家的梦想破灭了。The communications from the lander to ground station was lost. Devastation at India's space agency as scientists lose contact to the Chandrayaan-2 only seconds before its landing. In 2008, India's first moon mission, Chandrayaan-1, orbited the moon and helped confirm the presence of water, but it didn't make a landing. Under Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the country has stepped up its ambitions in space. 2013 saw India's first interplanetary venture, the launch of an orbiter to Mars. And it has even more ambitious plans. The first manned mission into space is scheduled for 2022, and soon after that, the creation of India's own space station. 以规模论，印度在太空成就上或许不及美国和苏联。印度最令全世界赞叹的是在太空任务花费上的低成本，像是2014年，印度的火星轨道卫星仅仅花费7400万美元，几乎是当年度美国 NASA 花在火星任务上 6.71 亿美元的预算十分之一。For now, India's ambitions to become a global space superpower appear to have suffered a setback. But scientists hope to get the communication to the spacecraft back up and find out what happened. 其实，月船二号的任务还不算是完全失败。美国 NASA 对外公布，在取得印度政府同意之后，正在向月船二号传送讯息，力求在九月二十一号，月球进入黑夜之前，重新与月船二号取得联系。月船二号的插曲不会浇熄人类征服宇宙的雄心。美国 NASA 早已发下好语，五年后要重返月球。Fifty years ago, we pioneered the path to the moon. The trail we blazed cut through the fictions of science and showed us all what was possible. Today, our calling to explore is even greater. To go farther, we must be able to sustain missions of greater distance and duration. We must use the resources we find at our destinations. We must overcome radiation, isolation, gravity, and extreme environments like never before. These are the challenges we face to push the bounds of humanity. We're going to the moon to stay by 2024. Humans are the most fragile element of this entire endeavor, and yet we go for humanity. We go to the moon and on to Mars to seek knowledge and understanding, and to share it with all. We go knowing our efforts will create opportunities that cannot be foreseen. We go because we are destined to explore and see it with our own eyes. We turn towards the moon now, not as a conclusion, but as preparation, as a checkpoint toward all that lies beyond. Our greatest adventures remain ahead of us. We are going. We're going. We are going. We are going. We're going.